Salado has been an interesting problem for archaeologists for a long time, as has Salado pottery, Salado polychrome pottery, also referred to as Roosevelt Redware. The Salado phenomenon really represents uh, sort of the late uh, archaeology of the Phoenix area and lots of other areas um, pretty close to Phoenix and some other places pretty far away. Um, but when uh, early archaeologists first started to try to understand Salado, it was thought of as um, a group of people who had come from the area around Lake Roosevelt and that they had moved into uh, the Phoenix area and other places in sort of a peaceful invasion so that uh, different uh, cultural or ethnic groups lived together. And Salado pottery, Salado polychrome pottery, which is referred to as also as Roosevelt Redware, um, when we began the project, it was divided into three different types. Uh, the earliest being pinto polychrome, which was made from about A.D. 1280 to 1330. Gila polychrome, which was made from about 1300 to 1450. And tanto polychrome, which was made from about 1350 to 1450.